Looking to upgrade your VirtualBox to the latest release? Version 6.1.26 is the latest one out, and I'll show you how to do that. Since my last VirtualBox update video, there's been two maintenance releases, and here they are. There's been a series of minor updates. These are, again, maintenance releases, so there are no major or significant changes that have been made. These are mostly just ironing out the kinks of little issues that have happened here and there, and they periodically release updates to fix those issues. During the next major release, I plan on doing an update for that, which we're expecting in a couple months from now. So I'll put a link in the description below to this change log so you can take your time and go over the notes if you want to. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and install the update. When you open up VirtualBox, you can head over to the file menu at the top and then click on check for updates. If there is new version available like there is right now, this prompt will come up and you can click on the link to download the latest version. It'll automatically download onto your computer. And then what you can do is you can begin the download by opening up the file. So we have the window over here, but before we click on next, let's just shut down our existing version that's already open by clicking on okay and closing it. Now this is probably the reason why it's crashing or not updating successfully if you've had issues, as I've read in some of the comments. So you wanna make sure you completely exit out of VirtualBox. So click on next and then next to all the default settings. Uh, we're gonna leave all the shortcuts and everything as is. Uh, we're gonna say yes to the prompt and then install. So we'll get a prompt here for Windows and you can say yes to that. And it's gonna download and extract all the required files. Okay, so now that it's complete, we have the option to leave the check mark box selected. And you can see on the desktop, I have two shortcuts. They're both gonna launch the same thing, so you can delete it. Uh, we just clicked on finish and it's gonna load up automatically here. It'll prompt us for the extension pack, here we go. So. There is all the virtual machines I had before, so no changes have been made, and now we can install the new extension pack. So you can click on download, and then it's gonna ask you to actually download the file now, so you can click on download again. And now it's ready to install, so you can click on install. And now it's just giving you the version difference, so you can see the changes that are gonna be made. You can click on upgrade, and now we can scroll down to the bottom here, and then select I agree. You can say yes to the prompt. And now it's gonna install the extension pack. And there we go, it's successfully done. It doesn't take very much time. And now it's gonna delete all the older files that we have. So we'll let it do that by clicking on delete here twice. And everything has been done. So now we have VirtualBox completely upgraded. If you go to the about VirtualBox, you can see that the new version has been loaded up here and there's a version number. So we're up and running and we can go ahead and we can just start using VirtualBox like we were before with all the changes that were in the change log now implemented. So this is a pretty straightforward upgrade to do for the virtual box. It's only a few steps and then you're up and running and you can get back to whatever you're doing without losing any virtual machines or making any changes to those boxes. So if you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you go ahead and put them in the comments below. For more tutorials like this, installing virtual machines on Windows computers or any operating systems, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.